It's day 141 of the project and over the next few days it's all about smelling great for less with a selection of wallet friendly fragrances that'll have you smelling like a millionaire. Today's scent of the day is Armani Diamonds for Men and to find out all you need to know about this one, stay tuned to Mags Frags. Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to another episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is day 141 of my Fragrance 365 project where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. So today's featured scent is Armani Diamonds for Men uh, which was first launched back in 2008. It was a fairly pricey fragrance when it was first launched uh, but you can now pick this up in a 75ml bottle size like this one at discounters for under 30 quid. I picked this particular one up from uh, Boots uh, which was 29 99 so definitely a good price for a fragrance that contains the uh, Giorgio Armani brand name. Yeah, so into the presentation and the box comes in like a, a metallic pewter color uh, with the Armani logo in chrome which has like got a, it's got like a raised textured feel to it there's the name of the fragrance and the name of the house printed in white and underneath is the size and concentration on the back uh, there's just loads of information uh, which is all uh, typed in different various uh, languages and at the bottom we've just got the usual uh, batch code with, an, with another Giorgio Armani logo. The bottle uh, comes in a, a clear glass in like a tall square shape which is slightly indented on the sides uh, to give you that, that diamond cut, uh, cut effect when you move it around and the light reflects off it. It features the Armani logo on the front uh, and it's got like a, an etched finish uh, and at the top is a, a chrome atomizer with the, uh, with the sprayer right at the very top. The spray is uh, decent quality and overall it's a, it's a pretty minimalistic design and it still looks really modern considering it's like a 14 year old design. It's pretty elegant uh, but it's fairly bland and it doesn't set my world on fire in terms of its presentation but it's okay, it's functional. Yeah, the top notes in this one are bergamot and guayaquod. In the heart of the fragrance, we've got Sichuan pepper, uh, cedar and vetiver. And in the base, there's cacao and amber. So this one opens up very bright and uplifting with a huge blast of bergamot, which is very fresh and citrusy. There's also some fruity sweetness in there which makes it quite a juicy and mouth-watering kind of scent which is very refreshing. Considering there's two different woods and also vetiver in this, I don't get a great deal in the way of earthiness or woodiness from it, but it's more of the cacao and the amber that provides some sweetness and depth from the base. The woods are kind of there lurking deep in the background if you go searching for them um, and it, there is a little bit of spiciness coming from the Sichuan pepper uh, that does provide like a little bit of spice but what you mainly get overall in this one is a very clean semi-sweet citrusy like a shower gel type smelling fragrance that's very masculine and extremely mass appealing. It's not as sweet as the likes of Invictus or Ultra Male uh, but it does have a, like a youthful play, uh, playfulness to it. To me it's more along the lines of these two, Ultra Red and Dior Homme Sport because it's very bright, it's fruity and very juicy. It stays bright and cheerful all the way through the, uh, the dry down uh, but it loses most of its sparkly zestiness and you, what you're left with is more of like an ambery sweetness with a tiny trace of woodiness from the base. But for the most part it's uh, definitely a very enjoyable and uh, likeable aroma. This one is a very versatile scent that you could wear all year round with ease but for me personally it'd be more of a, a casual fragrance that I'd wear during the daytime uh, throughout the warmer months of the year. I reckon this would make a perfect gym scent or one that you'd wear after a heavy gym session when you've had a long shower and to me it's got more of like a, a sports fragrance uh, scent DNA to it. 
It'd also be a great work uh, fragrance because it's extremely likeable and it's just not loud or overpowering. It's got a very clean and crisp character so it could work well with like a smart shirt and tie combo to wear in the office but like I say this is a, a dumb reach spray and go type scent for the daytime. I imagine this to be uh, best suited to younger guys under 25 because it's quite uh, like an energetic and playful type fragrance but there's no reason why older guys couldn't wear it. I just think that maybe the Armani Code or the Stronger With You lines are a little uh, like a better option because they're a touch more grown up and sophisticated for guys over the age of 25. And also I would say you could if you wanted to wear this uh, for nights out or dressed up occasions you could do uh, but for me it's more of a casual fragrance. The performance on this one isn't that bad but it's not great either. You'll get a decent projection for the first hour or so and then it becomes more of a skin scent that people will still detect if they're kind of pretty close up to you but it's not going to uh, command much attention after that first hour. After the five or six hour mark it's barely noticeable so if you're planning on wearing this uh, for a night out or, or to wear as a work scent I suggest filling up a little 5ml travel atomizer and just keep reapplying it every couple of hours because it's the opening in this one that's definitely the best and the most uh, attention grabbing part of this scent. This is a fragrance that really suits its name because it's actually very bright and sparkly uh, just like you get with a handful of diamonds. It smells very clean and box fresh like you've uh, stepped out of a long hot soapy shower and it's a very likeable mass appealing fragrance. It does have a slightly synthetic quality to it that you get in most designer fragrances these days and the performance is uh, only slightly above average but overall I really like how this one smells and there's absolutely nothing whatsoever to dislike about it. However, uh, it, uh, at its full original price it would have been a touch disappointing but now that you can get it for under 30 quid I think it's uh, a really great pickup for someone who's just looking for like a, a, a one fragrance solid daily driver to wear as a signature scent. It's a very nice and enjoyable smelling scent and at th this price I think it's uh, well worth its money and it gets a respectable 8 out of 10 from me. Yeah, so once again that's about it for today's scent of the day but over the next few episodes I've got a, a few more inexpensive little gems to share with you all. I've also got another perfume parlor haul to talk about and this one is a beauty with some absolute winners in there so don't forget to uh, look out for that one. And as always if you found this video useful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. It's also great to hear your opinions, your thoughts and your critiques on all of the fragrances that feature throughout the 365 project so don't forget to keep your comments coming down in the comments section. So once again thank you very much for tuning into this latest episode, stay safe, keep smelling fresh and I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye bye for now.